Hello guys, welcome back to Vini's Lab. After a long time, the MMX microphone project is finally ready. Let's dive into it. I will show you the results and challenges I had during this project. So, after three months working back and forth on this project, it's finally here. The vibraphone microphone I promised you guys. Now you can see and listen as well. And yes, it's the microphone you are listening right now. Let me know in the comments below how do you think it sounds like. To understand the journey, let's have a look into the different schematic interactions this project went through. The first schematic I showed you guys in the first video on the series was impossible to simulate. It was based on the preamplifier for the AKG C470. Still, the results on LT Spice were not convincing, and Razvan and I could not figure out the issue. So we moved it to a two op amps design. So now you can see the second design we worked on. The first op amp had a dual purpose functionality, being a selectable high pass filter with cutoff frequencies of 20, 7, and 130 Hz, and a gain stage of 10x. The second one was a working as a buffer and single ended to fully differential converter. I select the lowest noise as possible audio op amp from Texas Instrument, and that was my first mistake. The mistake I made was I ignored the quiescent current of that amp on model, and it was 20 milliamps. And if you know phantom power, you know that you cannot drive more than 15 milliamps as total load. So I had to remove it from the circuit. The first op amp would drive the output directly, but did not work, despite the fact the simulation was working correctly with amplification and filtering. The circuit was super noisy and prone to oscillation. That could not be possible. I used very short traces and a four-layer PCB with the external layers as ground planes to shoot as much as possible off the signal path. So, that design and PCB's destiny was the trash. And start over again. This time, I learned my lesson. I decided on a discrete bipolar design with a simple feedback loop. The simulation results were promising. So instead of manufacturing the PCB, I prototype it. While I was on holidays in the Netherlands at husband's house, we swept it and got the excellent frequency response you can see on the video. Now, let's go to the detail camera so I can show you guys how the final design looks like compared with the first prototype. So, as you can see, comparing the two microphone bodies, the final design is smaller. The reason for that is I decided to not include any high-pass filters on it. After the first PCB fail, I went with the most simplistic circuit as possible, and we'll leave it to Martin to filter the audio on software as he wishes. The new PCB looks excellent, and I made the microphone pads on a way I could solder the capsule directly on the PCB, increasing reliability over transit, since MMX will travel the world. Now I will assemble the second one and let Wilson protect them during the trip from Germany to the south of France. If you stayed with me until now, I have a gift for you. All the project schematics, PCB and mechanical drawings are available on Vinny's Lab GitHub. The link is in the video description below. Also, I'm leaving below a link for our Discord server, where you can access the public channels and see what I'm working on and interact with the community. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support me, please consider to join Vinny's Lab Patreon, where you can access those projects before anyone else and also collaborate on the designs I'm working on. By the way, did you watch my last video about the Yag laser? I have big plans for it. So subscribe right now 
to the channel so you can keep yourself updated with what I'm going to build with that laser. I see you on the next time.